number 23 North Carolina won the preseason NIT in New York. They were back there to face Iona in the Holiday Classic. Rashad McCants was there, but Jawad Williams out with a stomach virus. Ricky Soliver for Iona, he had 13 points. And Iona up by three. 20 seconds into the second half, Sean May steps awkwardly on his left foot. And the freshman center broke a bone in that foot. He would not return. He's out eight to 10 weeks. Tough break for the Heels. Meanwhile, the Gales out hustling Carolina. Watch 5'10 Iona guard Maceo Wofford outwork Carolina guard David Noel, who's got eight inches on him. But Wofford able to grab the rebound, and he takes it all the way on the break and finishes it himself. Iona on an 8-0 run. They tied the game at 33. Tar Heels with 23 turnovers on the night. Marvin McCullough steals the pass. Wofford going 4-1, on one, and it's not difficult that way. Iona up 7, 13 in the game for Wofford. Now, less than two minutes to go. Tar Heels allow three players behind their zone, and Courtney Fields able to get inside and finish. He had 18. And Iona beats a ranked team for the first time in almost 23 years since Jeff Rulin led them past Louisville. Patino didn't forget, like a guy who gets all his friends to back him up in a street fight, Louisville's coach had a scoreboard message for the Freedom Hall fans before Saturday's Kentucky rematch, pointing out that they were his sixth man. This time, Patino left with a better taste in his mouth, popping a mint before his Tubby Smith handshake, kind of like a used car salesman who just closed the deal. Kentucky not ready to let Patino's Cardinals breathe new life into this rivalry. That's Louisville's Marvin Stone, transferred from Kentucky, misses the freebie. And Look at Keith Bogans go. He knows that the Cats have got the rebound, so he just takes off Cliff Hawkins' spots, and Bogans at 14. And Ricky's down three at halftime. Second half, Cardinals still down three. Francisco Garcia ties it. 12 for Garcia. Minutes later, Eric Brown is open for Thorin. Louisville gets the lead. It's a 17-4 Cardinal run. Taekwon Dean finds Stone. 16 for the Kentucky transfer. Off the UK miss, Bryant Northern finds Ellis Miles. 11 points, 14 boards for Miles. You know, Purvis Ellison's not walking through that door. How's Revenge feel? You know, you're all going to say, well, he's holding it in. Really, you know, but I'm telling you the truth. I, I love beating Kentucky as much as I love beating anybody else. Cardinals snap a three-game losing streak versus UK. With a lengthy suspension hanging over his head. Mike Davis taking his Indiana Hoosiers into Philly to face Temple. John Chaney's first game back after being admitted to the hospital for pneumonia. Late second half, Alex Wesby. Temple up three. Wesby had 26. Eight seconds left. Temple still up three. Bracey right. This for the tie. Wesby gets the rebound. Three seconds left. Owls up five. Brian Polk, big steal. 71-64 Temple wins. Mike Davis, consecutive losses to Kentucky and Temple. You know, there's two coaches that I really look up to, and there's Coach Chaney and uh, Coach Smith, and I better start looking up to somebody else because I can't beat those guys. You know, last time Davis said, I'm not the guy, IU went to the Final Four. 71-64 here. Number seven, Illinois at Memphis. The line I undefeated at... After eight, second half, Memphis up six after trailing by six at the half. And Chris Massey, first game back after eligibility issues. Bill Self said he was the best player in the game. Brian Cook going to tie that game with the triple. He finished with 21. Next possession, it's Massey again. All of his 13 points in the second half. Two-point lead for the home team. Time winding down. Memphis up five. Sean Harrington can't, but D. Brown can. Five for 11 from the three and a chance to tie it in the final seconds, but he needs to hit the weight room. Memphis wins it 77-74. Hoops, number five, Oklahoma at 17th ranked Mississippi State in the Sugar Bowl Classic. Sooners have won six straight. The arrow on D'Angelo Alexander. He's fancy, man. To all his price as he was falling out of bounds. Price hits the layup. Sooners up three. Price led the Sooners with 17. Game tied at the half. Second half. Michael Ignerski, acceleration, elevation. He had 11 points. Bulldogs up three. Mississippi State missed 10 of 13 threes, but Timmy Bowers, he hit one of four, part of an 18-2 Bulldog run. Buck 30 left. Price is right. Down five, timeout, OU. Bulldogs bite back. Mario Austin held below his 26 per game average, finished with 18, and Oklahoma's finished. Sooner string of 16 straight wins in December ends 54-45. Guess who's back in Big Ten country? Bob Knight, number 25, Texas Tech at Minnesota. Second half, Steve Esselink, the steal off the inbound. Top of the key for Thorin. 
Gophers within five. Under a minute to go. Minnesota down three. Rick Rickert for the tie. 74 piece Rickert, 22 and 11. Last chance for Tech to see Powell double team blocked by Rickert. Bob Knight watched the Gophers close regulation with a 12 2 run that got overtime. NOT, Andre Emmett misses. Robert Tomasek doesn't. Tomasek, career high 28 points and 16 boards. He was 11 of 15 from the floor. Then Maurice Hargrove can't handle the pass. Ronald Ross, two of his 11. Tech scores 25 in the overtime and wins 99 89. Bob Knight, career win number 795. She's a tennis star, a supermodel, an international phenomenon. She's Anna Kornikova and will take you on location for an inside look at her 2003 calendar shoot, Monday, December 30th at 9 on ESPN. Now let's get back to sports. College basketball, George Mason at number two, Pittsburgh. Julius Page, the steal. Brandon Knight back to Page. Knight dominated this game with his playmaking. Jerron Brown goes baseline, two-hand jam. 9-0, best start in Ben Howland's four seasons. 65-41, Pitt beats George Mason. Central Connecticut at number six, Connecticut. Jim Calhoun's first meeting against former assistant Howie Dickman. And Ben Gordon, he had 24, but Mecca Okafor. Own this game 17 points 11 rebounds eight blocks for the big man 93 65 Huskies Davidson at number four Arizona this is the tournament honoring coach Olson's late wife Bobby first game for the Cats since LSU killed their buzz Hassan Adams with the buzz there and then Luke Walton back after two on the training table he had a couple three balls and then the freshman Adams with 18 and Two highlights, the windmill slam, 95-69. Arizona at Oregon play this Thursday. The Pac-10 begins. Oregon warming up tonight against Cal Riverside. Robert Johnson ahead to James Davis. He had a dozen. Luke Ridenauer, his daddy, played for the Shadow Park Highlanders. Son with 24 against these Highlanders. That was a game high. Ridenauer, two more. Ernie Kent and Oregon win their 23rd straight at home. 108-67 to is the final. Back on campus, number 21, Tulsa hosting Steve Alford's Iowa Hawkeyes. Final seconds, first half, and that's Brody Boyd right there. He's a little confused. Pass in Boyd's direction, intercepted by Antonio Reed. Iowa down 33-25 at halftime, and as they head to the locker room, look at Alford in a Bob Knight moment. Push Boyd right in the back. Get in there! Under a minute left, Iowa down one. Chauncey Leslie, baseline reverse. Iowa's first lead. Leslie, a career high 21. They're up one. Tulsa down two under 10 seconds left. Jason Parker. Tulsa just six of 21 from three point range. All for Hawkeyes win. Iowa now eight and two. Number 19, Kansas, take it on Cal in the Pete Newell Challenge in Oakland. First half, Aaron Miles, the steal and the finish. Kansas up 18 at halftime. Second half, Nick Collison, the steal. I add to Miles. Miles had 11 points, and Jayhawks are up by 22 here. Later, Collison to Miles, the return feed for the slam, one of Miles' 10 assists. Collison 16 and 10. Kansas wins 80 to 67. Cal hasn't beaten KU since 19. The college hoops before departing for the holidays. The Duke Blue Devils didn't receive any holiday cheer from their head coach. In their final game before the Christmas break, Duke blew out North Carolina A&T by 34, but Mike Krzyzewski was so displeased with what he viewed as a lack of focus, he held two extra days of practice, including one marathon session, just eight hours after that victory. Sunday night, the unbeaten Blue Devils hosted the 7-2 Dayton Flyers. J.J. Redick. Duke has made at least one three-point field goal in 454 consecutive games. End of the first half, Daniel Ewing to Casey Sanders. Duke's pretty good in the month of December. Blue Devils led it 42-25 at halftime. Second half, it's Redick to Randolph. Shavlik Randolph, another freshman. Duke has won, well, a lot of games against unranked <laughs> opponents. Duke wins it 85-74. Defending national champions, Maryland, they open up their ACC season against Georgia Tech. Steve Blake, nice dime to Jamar Smith. Blake, the nation's all-time active leader in career assists, finished with eight in the game. Midway through the second, Drew Nicholas, three, dropping it like it's hot. Nicholas, career high, 29 points. Later, Turks up five. Chris McCrary to Ryan Randall. Some yeast. You get it? Rising. Thank you, Bill. 16 of Randall's 20 in the second half. Maryland wins 84-77.
Paul Mark's card freedom crew in Utah. The Huntsman set a rocket and his team in trouble. Down 48-43. Mo Williams drops the three. He led the tide with 15. Less than a minute remaining. Tied down 50 to 47. Irwin Dudley inside. Dudley had nine points. It's a one-point game. Utah's Tim Drisdom on the line. He hit his first free throw. Second free throw. Roro. Bama gets the board. They trail by a deuce. Here comes Mo. Tries to do it all himself. And, uh, oh, I hate when that happens. The tie done as Utah pulls off the huge upset. There's a party over there. We're kind of because they're in Utah. Yeah. Boston, you, Arizona. Loot, fear the terrier. It's the Fiesta Bowl classic. Loot, Walton. Oh, that is soft over Billy Collins. Walton, 16 points, 5 of 12 shooting, but we got trouble. Later in the half, watch Walton. He'll be arrowed. Not nice to point, but there he is. Terriers guard Matt Turner up with the three. Walton, box out. Good. Get a body on him. It was good. Starts running up the other way. Rolls the right ankle over Jason Gardner. Fourth time he sprained it. Didn't come back. Expected to miss the Cats' Pac-10 opener Saturday at Oregon. Filling in nicely, Salim Stoughton. Hits the tray. Zona wins at 85-71, but again, Walt, bad ankle. Family trait. Toledo, number 15, Michigan State. 36 straight non-conference games that the Spartans have won at the Breslin Center. Nick Moore for three. Team 11 to 25 from three point, 44 percent puts Toledo up nine more Rockets Ricardo Thomas through the lane puts Toledo up 11 but we're tied at 71 Nick Moore money he had 19 and Toledo upsets Michigan State and that is an upset when you go to East Lansing and win it 81 76 let's keep with the theme number nine Marquette visiting East Carolina Dwayne Wade averaging 25 points a game shooting 60 percent from the field Wade late 19 seconds Marquette down by two can't score he had 21 points points. All right, just over five seconds to play. Marquette down three. Steve Novak air ball, but Marquette gets another crack. One second to play. Wait again. Good night now. Mingus Coliseum rocking and rolling. East Carolina, they beat Louisville earlier in the year. 73-70, they win a cheerleader, actually, yeah. Okay. All right, we'll do something like that. Anyway, first half, Darren Williams hooks up Brian Cook for the oops upside your head. Cook had 20 in the game, but Fangs gang, Coppin State comes back. Jimmy Boykin, it's crazy, it's good. 38-30 fighting the line eye. But the problem was Sean Harrington flowing from the land of plenty. He had six threes and tied a career high. The fighting the line eye roll, 63 to 37. Another MIAC school, Florida A&M, taking on Florida. That's David Lee inside, and he's just too big. Lee, the kiss. The Gators had 25 assists. They're up 18. Lee keeps coming. You got to hook up the big man when he runs the floor. Lee gets the pass. He had 12 points, 12 rebounds, and that noise, part of a 16-0 Gator run later. Anthony Roberson pushes it ahead. Matt Walsh, get up, young fella. Gators win 91 to 58. Vanderbilt, Notre Dame, Irish, 10 and wonder, Mike Bray. Best starts as Digger was hopping around. Digger, of course, he has been analyst, which means he'll be hired soon. Chris Thomas passed a couple of defenders. He had 19. Notre Dame up 45-27 at the half. They shot 57 percent in the first 20 minutes and Torian Jones that's so easy he had a dozen Notre Dame extends his winning streak to seven games 76 63 Valpo Missouri that's Arthur Johnson four blocks from breaking Steve Stepanich's all-time school record there's one right there for Sir Arthur a few minutes later already that was the one that tied it and just like that, Stepo drops the second in the record books. Uh -huh. But we're going the other way. Everybody named Ricky involved in the play. Ricky Clemens, Ricky Paulding, big time hops there. Tigers go 47-31. Yeah, he was bouncing. <laughs> Johnson. One more block. Mizzou rolled 65-47. Isaiah Lewis filling in for the suspended Nolan Richardson. And well, we're pointing there, Marcus Estelle, because apparently nobody in Tennessee State saw him. Put a body on him. He had 15. Kentucky led 47-40 at halftime and then got warm in the second half. Keith Bogans, Gerald Fitch hook up. Bogans with 26. Kentucky 115. Tennessee State, not so many. They had 87.
Marshall coming into Athens to face Georgia Tuesday. Jarvis Hayes for three. Moments later, Hayes again open for three. Bulldogs up four. Hayes had 18. Later in the first half, Ezra Williams for three. UGA up nine at halftime. Second half, keep your eye on Julius Page down there. And Julius, it's ball, you man. Ball, you man, Julius. Uh -oh. He leaves Chris Daniels unshaped. Bulldogs up 15. That's a problem. Later. Back come the Panthers. Knight here. Ontario let there. Two of his 14. Pittsburgh back within 10. Seven and a half to go. Carl Krauser the steal. He will feed Knight. Panthers are within six, but Knight had only 10 points on just four of 17 shooting. Final minutes. Williams for three. He had 20. Georgia upsets Pittsburgh 79-67. Dogs eight and three. They have won seven in a row. Indiana Ball State Hoosiers without head coach Mike Davis, who's serving a one-game suspension for running on the court against Kentucky, acting a fool. Bracey Wright does that just fine without the coach. Indiana goes up 46-40. Then Wright from deep, 5 of 10 for triples in this one. Hoosiers up 64-53 later. Spot shadow. Watch Indiana defense. A.J. Moy steps up, going to try and take a charge, forces a bad pass. Sean Klein, he steals it. Right, lays it in. He had 31 points, tying a career best. 76-62, IU wins. Creighton Xavier, 15 against 19. Blue Jays enter unbeaten at 10-0. Xavier guard Lionel Chalmers up over the scorer's table, and that's his night. Left the game with a foot injury. Xavier cruising early without Chalmers, though David West to, oh, let me tell you about Keith Jackson. A little more than a minute left. Kyle Corver, one of his eight threes. Blue Jays, oh, for the love of Bob Gibson. But David West, leaning with four seconds left to break a tie. Xavier wins it, 75-73. Now let's run up and down. St. Bonnie's in Ohio U. Marcus Green, crossover, hoop foul, all of that right there. St. Bonaventure up two. Less than two minutes remaining. Steve Estercamp nailing the three at 24. Ohio up one. Look at that. Both teams over 100 in regulation. After missed free throw, six seconds left. Ohio up by three. Green with the ball. Throws up desperation. Oh. Not so much. Ohio beats St. Bonaventure 104 101. Green finish with 35. Philly rivals hooking up on New Year's Eve. Temple and Villanova late first half. Jason Frazier blocks Alex Wesby. Finds freshman Alan Ray down court. Oh, foul. Ray with a team high 16. Villanova up one at halftime. A 15-3 Wildcat run in the second half. Another freshman down there. Curtis Sumter, good for two. Make a throw. Ten for Sumter, all in the second half. Temple just two and seven. Jay Wright's Villanova Wildcats win 75-73.